How are stars born? The secret life of space is brightest babies. We look up and see stars sparkling like glitter in the sky. But those glowing dots weren't always there, they were born somewhere. Somehow. So how does the universe actually make a star? Let's break it down plain, powerful, and beautiful. It all starts in a cloud. Not a rainy cloud, a giant cosmic cloud called a nebula. These are huge, cold, dark clouds filled with gas, mostly hydrogen, and tiny dust particles. They just float around space, waiting for something to shake them up. The big shake up. Sometimes, a nearby star explodes in a supernova gravity just does its thing and parts of the clouds start clumping together. These clumps get tighter and tighter, pulled in by gravity. The more gas they pull in, the hotter and denser they get. This baby star is now called a protostar. It's forming, growing, and heating up. The fire is lit. When the center of the protostar gets hot enough, like millions of degrees hot hydrogen atoms begin to fuse. That means they smash together and turn into helium, and in the process, they release a huge amount of energy. Boom! A star is born. This is called nuclear fusion, and it's how stars shine for billions of years. Not all stars are the same. Big clumps create massive stars, which burn brighter and live shorter lives. Smaller clumps become tiny stars that glow dimly for trillions of years. The star's size decides its whole future, from how long it lives to how it dies. So stars are born in cosmic clouds, from dust and gas, pushed by gravity and fired up by fusion. Every time you see a star, you're looking at a glowing ball that was once just floating dust. This is InfoJar, turning space mysteries into glowing truth. Subscribe, and next up, we'll find out how stars die and it's way more dramatic than you think.